Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. Welcome back to the Rescue Hangar, the home of the Phoenix, the 401, the free abandoned airplane. Now, a lot of you guys have been mentioning about the 401 with a few of these comments and where the 401 has been. So in today's video, we're gonna tell you why work has stopped on the 401. It's something that we didn't want to have happen, but inevitably, sometimes there's just some mountains that you, you can't pass. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna talk a little bit about Greg, the a and that's been helping so much with this project and has really been a key part of this whole thing and how something that happened to him has been affecting our progress here. But first, take a look at this project because it's been amazing. It's been here forever. It hasn't ran. Oh yeah. That makes this plane 100% ours. Fire, 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 fire. Somebody filed a complaint with the FAA. That was a little in over my head, to be honest with you. This was a huge find. Whoa. Back to the drawing board. It's starting to look like something. I know. Something's moving. Is it moving? It's moving. This has been such a long road. It's, it's just a ton of work. I think that looks pretty cool. Dude, those look awesome. Got that gear completely fixed. Awesome. Nice. Is it working? Yep. Nice. It's got all nice, brand new white paint on the engine cradle. So we got all the engine cables in that we have for now. So we got the door installed, we have the straps on. Is it working? Yeah. We've had so much stuff going on here um, at the Chester County Airport. So many things going on with the 401 in the background. There's a lot of things we haven't told you guys just because you know we try to keep everything as positive as possible, you know, but sometimes you kind of just have to talk about everything. So Greg, I know you've, uh, you've had a ton of stuff going on here. Um, you've been awesome teaching Joe and I, even Corey behind the camera and Harry over there in the corner and Thanks, whoever Greg. comes in here, you've been uh, an awesome mentor. Uh, I've learned so much and we really appreciate it. I mean, we wouldn't have got nearly as far as we've gotten on this project without your help without your guidance. You've been doing this, what, 35 years? It would have been 30, year, 30 years next year. I guess I started about 16 when my father 16. had a paint shop, so. Yeah. You guys had a shop here. We had a shop here, yeah. 95, yeah. we built our hangar here. But he's had some struggles here lately, which has caused us to have some struggles with the 401 because Greg became part of the crew and literally started working on this, you know, way early on. and telling me what I was doing wrong way early on. In fact, question why I even started working on the project <laughs> at all, because it was a crazy endeavor. Little did I know, he was really right. But oh, we, now, now you realize it? Well, but I realized a long time ago. Ooh. Uh-huh. Light it on fire. No good. No good. <laughs> magic. It's not done. It's movie magic. But, you know, we've come so far. Last couple months, there's been some different hurdles that Greg has had uh, here, which has become our hurdles as well. But I mean, you can explain it a lot better than I can. Can you kind of walk us through what's been going on? Basically, it comes down to the airport has thrown me out. I've been here, uh, like I told you, 95, we built a hangar here. Me and my father came up here, brought uh, all our customers from another airport and we're running a business up here. The people at the time talked us into becoming the MRO at the airport. So we came down, we were the MRO for uh, six years or so, five years. So you've been helping probably about six people here at the airport that were customers, even your customers or your father. Yeah, I mean, some of, some of the customers um, I've had for 20 doing years. Doing like mobile, mobile repairs here and stuff, kind of like you come into the hangar here and yes. help us out here. Yeah, yeah. And just to give you guys a little bit of insight, to do the job that we do in the 401, we can't do it alone. We legally, FAA standards, we have to have uh, this supervision. The supervision that <clears throat> Greg uh, you know, supplies for us. And we need someone to manage this project that really understands it a lot better than I do, a lot better, frankly, than most AMPs do because I've, I've worked with a lot. You're an IA, you've, he's worked on things this big, much bigger. Without his help here, we've had to stop for the last six, seven weeks. What Greg was told is he can't come here and do work as a contractor for uh, anybody in the airport. We do our best to follow all rules, all standards, whether it's FAA, you know, or, or whoever. And 
we're just here to make a positive impact on aviation. You know, one of the biggest things here at the airport, there's been so many really, really good partners here. All the employees from Signature Flight Services, they run the FBO here. They have been absolutely amazing. I can't say enough that uh, they just, they ha we have really good relationships with them. They help us out with a lot of stuff and, um, you know, just really happy with them and, and, you know, what they do here. I wanted to take a minute and thank all you guys for putting up with the ads in our videos that we have sometimes. These ads really help the 4-1 project behind me because it allows us to afford things like this hangar and all the tools and other things a rescue like this takes. It means a lot to us. Thank you guys so much. Every day we take gambles on different projects here at Rebuild Rescue, and it's really nice that we win a few. That's why I've teamed up with DraftKings. And I'm really excited because football season is right around the corner, and it's the best place to place a bet on your favorite team in DraftKings. They have a crazy deal for customers too. Right now, all new customers who bet $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets. That's right, $200 in bonus bets with your first $5 bet. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers use my promo code REBUILD and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code REBUILD only at DraftKings Sportsbook. So Greg came to us right away and said, hey guys, look, like." We have to figure something out because I can't, I can't help you the way I've been anymore. Now, Greg could come here and work for free, and quite frankly, sometimes he does, but he also has a family to feed. So that's the reason why you guys haven't seen much of the 401 project. I know we were trying to kind of keep it quiet because I didn't want any more problems for Greg, and we don't want any problems here with the airport authority. We just wanted to make sure that everything that we do is the right way to do it. Now. Personally, being in business and uh, you know being a taxpayer, you know, like you are, it was a little confusing. It is a, it's not a private airport; it's a, a public airport. It's financed with public funds, so we're a, a little bit at a loss. I, I don't understand um, how that can really happen. We did reach out to some different individuals with some questions. We're waiting on some responses, and maybe, maybe some of you guys know if this is the way things work. I, I don't know, maybe one of you is an aviation attorney or have some experience in this. We just, you know, we wanted to come to you guys and we wanted to let you know why, uh, you know, stuff stopped here. It, the work stopped. You guys have seen all other kinds of videos we've been doing because we wanted to keep the channel rolling. We haven't forget about the 401. Greg has made some time to come in and go over stuff and for us to do things kind of off camera that we could do in other places to keep this moving forward because we still have avionics to get done. We got paint to get done. We have interior to get done. So we've been moving forward with that as far as the scheduling and finding all the individuals to help. As Greg gets a chance, you know, he's been coming back in again, but he can't get paid to do work here. We just want to let you guys know, Greg want to let you guys know too. I mean, uh, this is someone who's been pushing this forward and we're trying to figure out uh, Greg's situation. We want to help Greg as well. Um, you know, we do have things set up now. We have enough help in different ways that we can move forward because when we work on the 401, just to give you guys an idea, first thing we do is look in the manuals. We pick out the part of the manual that we're going to do. We need to highlight stuff in the manual. We need to get all the hardware ready. We need to get all the paperwork for the hardware ready. We have to lay that stuff out the person managing and overseeing that part of the project has to review that before we even do the work. And then after we do the work, it needs inspected. It takes uh, something that could take a few days, a few weeks, but it's the redundancy. It's, it's A, it's FAA standards, you know, for what we're doing. I've been able to learn. I'm gonna be able to get my A and P one day because of you. All of us appreciate so much of all of you who have dug into this project with us, there's so many comments of, is the 401 project over? Where's the 401? Like, I appreciate that because that tells me how much you guys appreciate this project and why we're doing it. Um, so if you guys aren't part of the community yet, if you're not subscribed, if you don't have your notifications turned on, make sure you do it because every week we're gonna have a community post that is gonna say, what's going on with this? If we don't have a video on it, which we may not, because I mean, some, some things can take 
a month or three months till we have the right parts or until we send something out when we find a problem or until we can have the process of what we're doing reviewed, inspected, and move on to the next one. So, a couple of you have been talking about when this project's actually going to get done. And to be honest with you, I ask myself that a few times a day, pretty much every day, we have a lot to do yet. All the stuff that we have to do, Project 401 Phoenix timeline, schedule, and the things we gotta do, I'm sure I'm missing some, but this is probably at least 90% of what we gotta do. Tip tank lens replace, we're gonna replace them. Deep clean under left floor, front and prime. Detail final clean, tail rear and floor. Attach and prime, rear nacelle. Prime tip tank rear covers. Install the watt, wheel in, awesome lights, awesome guys. Lighting that's gonna go all over this 401. Rig the gear, pull and install 401 wing harness. Fuel connections in wing root, vacuum connections in wing root. Battery connections tested and clean. Some of those connections we're talking about, stuff needs to be made. Like, yeah, not just tightening it up. Some things need made. Heater unit install, install overhauled prop governor, install oil pump right engine, install props, complete DI system install. We have a team coming in here. That's a big job. That's a few weeks that it's gonna take. I know it, all the lines going to it, all replaced. We gotta inspect and seal all fuel tanks and components. It has new bladders in, but we, we wanna have that all inspected. Every little part of it, by specialist. Inspect all fuel hoses and connection in wings. Final seal all windows after paint. Install engine components and hoses. All those components, headers, all that stuff. Looking at this stuff, I'm gonna put some dates on this stuff and what it's gonna take, like looking over it, like this is a week. That's a week for those two things. I'm gonna say half a week for here. All this stuff here is one week. Just the stuff that we have to do right here in the hangar. If everything goes perfect and we have all the parts and we don't run into problems, which we will, we're looking at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, with two halves, 15 weeks. So the thing about those 15 weeks is there's other things that have to happen and there's companies that have to come in and there's, so it's not gonna be 15 consecutive weeks. Now let's go to the outside off location work on the 401. This job, if you dropped your airplane off out of an avionics shop, this is at least a three month job. And you guys know how it is with avionics. Every shop is busy. Interior overhaul, seats, flooring, carpet, ceiling, everything, and first class. I've seen this take anywhere three to six months. Like easy, three to six months. Complete paint. Now we have it primed, it needs some little touch up in the priming area and stuff like that, but this is still gonna take a few weeks and we're gonna drop it off somewhere. We're gonna be able to fly it there first. This is the last piece of the puzzle. Pretty much it goes avionics, interior, and then paint's the last thing you do. This paint, it be a month and that's after we can get in the shop. A month. So if you look at this, we got one month, six months, three months, so nine, 10 months right here. I mean, if there was a place that we could drop it off and it got the interior done with the avionics and the paint all at one time, it'd be amazing, but I don't see that happening. So we got 10 months there, we got 15 weeks here. So we're looking at a little over a year. The number one thing, it's gotta be right. It's gotta be right and without people like Greg, we're not gonna know it's right unless you know, you're doing your job because you have so much experience. Even after I have my A&P and I have years of experience, Greg's still gonna be the guy I'm gonna harass because you've, you've been there, you've done it, you know, and, and I appreciate it. I'm just a wet rag. You're just a wet rag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so guys, thank you for being part of this project. And I probably haven't said it, you know, we're crazy around here, we are, trying to get so many things done. We're trying to buy other airplanes, get them rescued so we have money that we can put into this project. And so this project can live on. It's gonna be $100,000 a year for this 401 to fly missions, at least with insurance, with hangar fees, with fuel, with maintenance. You know, I can't, I can't afford to do that my, you know, on my own. So we need to work hard. We need to find airplanes to rescue. We need to get them flying safely. One of those projects, three to six months. I know it looks quick when we show it on film and you know when you see that half hour or hour uh, of a video, but that's usually a number of weeks of work and a number of weeks of blood, sweat, and tears that go into it 
until we post it. I mean, we have cylinders on a Saratoga, nine months, just the cylinders for the engine. It took nine months to get those done. Now it goes to overhaul, another 12 weeks. So we may have 10 or 12 or 13 or 15, if I can, 20 or 25 airplane projects going at one time. And there's work always getting done in the background. So if you're part of the community, if you're subscribed and you have notifications on, you're gonna see those community posts. We may have the Cirrus show up. We may have the Saratoga show up. There may be a 401 update. You may see a bunch of parts. You may see Joe passed out in the ground in front of the airplane because he's so tired of, of working on it. But you're gonna get to see the things that ba in the background that go on and know we're always working, we're always working really hard. And we're working towards this being done. We just wanted you guys to know, like we didn't give up. There's no giving up on this project. I'll be homeless and broke and turning my last screw with every last and breath. And I'll be like, I told you so. <laughs> every last breath that I have. It's something we set out to do. That's why we're sitting here. That's why Greg came in today. He noticed all the different comments and stuff. And he's like, man, we gotta say something. And, uh, you know, I was waiting for him to say that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that was up to you because this is your personal stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is stuff that means a lot to you and we appreciate you. So, um, you know, but we do have things we got to figure it out. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for having heart into this. And again, I've had people say, can you believe this person is so mad about the 401 project? It makes me feel good. Like, I love that. I'm glad you guys are really into it. Every comment I see, whether it's like, what the heck are you guys doing or not? I know you guys don't understand the whole thing of what's going on and how we're doing this, but stay tuned. We're making a difference. We want to save airplanes. We want to get them sold. We want to push us into a field and burn it. And burn it. No, that's, <laughs> that's what Joe and you want to do. Where's Joe? Getting the gasoline ready. <laughs> Tannerite. <laughs>